What's going on guys, Ryan with Daily Patrol back another video. Today may be the most important Hot Toys related video on YouTube. Let's roll. That's right guys, we're back. Today, the most important video on YouTube ever in the history of Hot Toys. I'm claiming it right here, right now. You just get ready for it today. We're not gonna be reviewing an, a figure. We're not gonna review an Iron Man. We're not gonna review a clone trooper. As much as I would love to review another clone trooper, today we're gonna take a look at the most important part of your collection. Now you may be thinking displays, LEDs, diorama bases, none of that, none of that. Today we're gonna be taking a look at none other than shipper box. That's right, guys. The most important part of your collection is not the figure. It is not the light up LEDs. It is none of that. It is actually the Hot Toys shipper box. The one piece of any collection that you must have in order to be a true Hot Toys collector. I know some of you out there are thinking it's just a plain old cardboard box, but hey, it's a Hot Toys box, so it must be something special, right? I mean, who needs actual toys when you can obsess over the shipping container they come in? Yeah. Right here, I have the Iron Man Origins Collection Stealth Armor box. Now, obviously, an Iron Man shipper box is probably more esteemed, more valuable, more protective than a normal shipper box. But let's go ahead and take a deep dive into what makes up this shipper box. Let's go ahead and see what's actually in this thing. I have, I've got a knife. Let's go ahead and open this. And we're, yes, we're gonna cut the tape. There we go. We got we got tape cutting going on. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going. What makes a Hot Toys shiver box so special? That's that's the question we've got for today. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Let's see what's inside. And what do we have? Well, absolutely nothing. That's right, folks. You heard it here first. An empty box. But hey, it's a Hot Toys box, so it's worth its weight in gold or empty promises, I guess. Now let's talk about the design. Just look at those exquisite edges, those mesmerizing flaps. I've never seen a cardboard cut with such precision. It's like Picasso took up packaging the design in his spare time. Truly groundbreaking stuff. And of course, one of the most important things about the Hot Toy Shipper Box, the dimensions. We've got to see, I, I, I brought something special for today's video. Here, it's right here, it's in this little box here. Let's go ahead and open this up because honestly, if we're gonna take a deep dive into this box, albeit empty, we're gonna need a special tool. That's right, guys. We have digital calipers. Let's go ahead and break this out because we wanna know every in and out of this particular box. I wanna know what makes this box so special. So we've obviously, we've got a bunch of sides, right? We've got, we've got four sides for the sides and then we've got obviously the end plates right here. But what I wanna know is what makes the box? What, what makes these things so special? I mean, it's got, Smells like cardboard, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and take these digital calipers. Let's see how special this box is. Let's see here if we can do this right here. What do we got? This particular box, here we go. Five, here we go, guys. 6.16 millimeters. Wow, that's crazy for that flap. I wonder if this flap is the same, do you think? Let's see. Oh, no, that flaps 5.89 millimeters. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. That is astounding. You can only imagine the amount of weight and hopes and dreams and credit card balances these things can hold. Uh, when you think about it, it's quite ridiculous. Now you can think about all the purposes you could use with this thing. You could use it as a step stool. I mean, if you take the back up, it's pretty strong, durable. You can use it as a step stool to get up on high shelves to get those high detoff cabinets and get you some extra height. You could use it as, well, a paperweight to hold down all the receipts you've got from your Hot Toys purchases. You could even use it as a shield to protect yourself from your spouse when you told her you've got another Hot Toy in the mail. Of course, if you've got a large enough Hot Toys box, you could actually live in it, right? Who needs a house when you can just live inside and keep all your collectibles with you? Well, let's be real guys, the real magic happens when you combine this shipper box with your imagination. You can pretend it's a spaceship, a secret hideout, or a time machine that takes you back to a time when shipper boxes weren't considered collector's items. The good old days. So it goes without saying, the most important part of your Hot Toys collection is not the figure, 
It is not the bases. It's not even the display. It's not the artwork. It's not any of that. It is the actual shipper box. And that's why if you are a true Hot Toys collector, you keep every single shipper box forever and ever and ever. Imagine taking all your shipper boxes and building them up like a giant fort like you used to do when you were a child or maybe as a, a larger child, mid-teen adult in their 40s. Screw the figures, screw the bases and the, and the diorama things and all, nobody cares, honestly. Unless you're collecting shipper boxes, number one, your figures are gonna be worth half of what you paid for them. We all know the value is not in the actual figure itself, not in its artistry, not in the care and precision it took to put it together, not in the manufacturing, not in the likenesses, and not even in the licenses, whether it's Star Wars, Marvel, DC, or whatever. None of that matters. None of it compares to the value in this cardboard box. Have you got a friend who throws away their shipper boxes? I wouldn't call that a friend. What I'm trying to say here, guys, is these shipper boxes not only are the most important part of your collection, but they hold much more than the actual figures. They're more important than that. They hold your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations and your receipts and your marriage. So I wanna know, what do you do with your shipper boxes? Are you one of those fiends that throw them away, just like the hopes and dreams of everyone around you? Or are you collecting them? Are you building them up to build a massive mansion of Hot Toys shipper boxes in which one day you will live alone? Sad, but you'll have your boxes. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know, as well as always, click what you like. See you next time.